DIY eyelashes. Yeah, do it yourself. I absolutely love being able to put on eyelashes on myself. No need for a lash artist. No need to wait for an appointment. And it's a lot cheaper than if you were to go get eyelash extensions. Let's talk about my favorite kind and let's apply them together. Let's get into it. So this is the Insta Lash Eraser. It's a makeup remover and it helps dissolve the adhesive that you just applied on your eyes and make removal super, super easy. It's great for sensitive eyes. It's not gonna sting your eyes. You just do two pumps, let it sit, rub your eyelashes, and the adhesive dissolves. You guys ready to do it? These eyelashes I applied about seven days ago. It's been exactly a week. Let's close them. Take a look. I will open and look up so you can see them up close and personal. I can get a little bit more wear out of these eyelashes, but I always like to start off with a fresh set at the very beginning of my week. Depending on how rough you are on your eyelashes, they say about five to seven days. I personally wear eyeshadow with my eyelashes, and so I feel like the fallout from my eyeshadow gets on top of the glue on my eyelashes, and I feel like you can see it, so that's why I like to take them off. But if you don't wear eyeshadow and you love just kind of the look of a natural lash, but it gives you a little bit of a pop for your eye, you may notice you like, might get more wear out of your eyelashes. It all depends. I also am a face sleeper, so I smush my face up in my pillow, and sometimes I will lose the outer quarter of my eyelash, but guess what? I can reapply them myself, no need for an appointment. And that's why I love these eyelashes. Okay, you guys ready to remove these eyelashes? Again, using our instant eraser, and we are just going to close our eye. Like I said, we're gonna let it sit for a second. You can still open your eyes because this is super, super gentle. And we're gonna let it sit. Then you're gonna take your finger and you are going to just rub on top of those eyelashes. Not super hard, just be very, very gentle with it and you're just going to dissolve that adhesive that you had applied before. And you can start feeling on this right eye, I'm already starting to have some lashes come off. You do not need a ton of spray for them to just start coming off. And these eyelashes are not eyelashes you probably want to reuse. The nice thing is, is the refill boxes are fairly cheap. They're only $25 before shipping and tax, so you do not have to worry about you know, spending an arm and a leg when it comes to reapplying your eyelashes. I will tell you, some people have reapplied them, cleaning them super well to get that makeup remover off. So if you want to attempt that, you can. But like I said, I just get a refill box and it's only 25 bucks, so it's not crazy expensive. So I will then take what's left over of the makeup remover and we are just going to rub it into our eyelashes. You wanna make sure you are getting all of that adhesive off and you do not want to pull. If you start taking your fingernail and pulling the glue off, you are going to lose your natural eyelashes. So that's why you wanna be super gentle and just let the remover do its job. And then I will take a makeup removing cloth and we are going to get all the rest of that eyeshadow, any residue off of my eyelids so that way I will be nice and clean. I constantly have people asking, do these ruin your natural eyelashes? They do not. As you can see up close and personal, my natural eyelashes are there, but they're super hard to see, which is why I love lash extensions because my eyelashes are blonde. So if I do not have any mascara or anything on my eyes, you can't really see my eyelashes. And so I don't get any fallout. And if it was time for me to reapply eyelashes again, I normally like to wait 
at least a day or two to give my natural eyelashes just a little bit of a break. I have reapplied instantly, but you wanna make sure the natural health of your own eyelashes are healthy. So I like to give them a little break and then normally I will reapply after a day or so and I have rested. But if you're anything like me and you wanna live life a little on the wild side and you're ready just to reapply, I will say you wanna make sure Take off your eyelashes and then you wanna wash your face. You wanna get any of that makeup remover or oil off of your eyelashes if you're reapplying. I have a cotton swab with a little bit of soap and water and I will rub my eyelashes just to get that oil and makeup remover off. If you're going to reapply this, I always like to do it freshly out of the shower and you do not want to put any of your serums or eye creams or anything like that on your face until after your eyelashes are reapplied because if there is any makeup remover on your eyelashes, you're not gonna get a very good stick when it comes to your adhesive that you will be applying just like that. And then you are ready to apply again. We are going to dry my face, and then you're ready for a new set of lashes. I am not going to lie to you. I sell these eyelashes. I will put a link down here so that way you are able to purchase these eyelashes if you do wanna get them. We sell them in kits, and this is what they look like. Green is your natural eyelash extensions. Hot pink is your volume. The kit is a great way to save money and get everything you need to set yourself up for success. Let's look to see what get, comes in your kit. You will get two adhesives. This is a black adhesive or glue and it has a spoolie brush on it. So this is going to mimic, say a mascara wand. And then it also comes with a clear adhesive. This one comes with a brush, similar to a brush on strip eyelashes. So two adhesives, and I'll tell you why you need two adhesives in just a second. Then you are going to get three boxes of lashes, three different lengths. With your natural kit, you're gonna get a 10 millimeter length, a 12 millimeter length, and then a 14 millimeter length. I personally am gonna use the natural kit today, but then you also get the makeup eraser, and this is a one ounce bottle and it lasts a super long time. And then you also are gonna get an applicator tool, so it's super easy to apply. And then we wanna set you up for success, so you are also going to get a guide. And this is going to tell you everything you need. We have a QR code down here. It's gonna take you to tutorials if you need to watch any of them. And then it kinda of tells you the natural, the volume. Volume comes with 12 millimeter, 14 millimeter, and 16. They give you a look at lash map so you can kind of see how you are going to apply if you want to, and then tons of tips and tricks, and frequently asked questions. That all comes with your kit. You are able to buy individual box lashes, but once you get the kit, and then you just need to have your eyelashes to apply, you'll just buy individual refill lash boxes. We are going to use a 12 millimeter natural lash and then on the very outside corner of my eye, we're gonna do a cat eye effect and we're gonna do a 14 millimeter. I'm gonna show you these lashes up close so you can kind of see what they look like. The band is super invisible and they have great curl to the lashes. They are super, super pretty and I can't wait to show you what they look like in action. So I personally curl my natural eyelashes. I have very stick straight eyelashes, so the curl really helps since these eyelash segments are curly. So we are gonna go through and curl these lashes. And then, like I told you before, we are going to use the black adhesive, and since it has a spoolie on the end, we are going to apply this to our lashes like it is mascara, starting on one eye at a time. That way, the other eye doesn't dry before you get the segments on. 
Okay, you guys ready? We are just going to paint it from root all the way to tip, all the way on the inner and all the way on the outer corner of my eye. You do not need a ton of adhesive at all because we are going to do a double adhesive application and it gives you the best hold for these lashes. So if you want a lot longer of a wear, do this double hold. It is not needed, but who doesn't want their eyelashes to last? Cause waking up with eyelashes is pretty fabulous. Also, I love using the black adhesive cause like I told you before, I do not have dark eyelashes. So the, the black adhesive is going to blend my own eyelashes with the false eyelashes. Then I like to take the spoolie brush. You can see I have a tiny bit of clumping on my eyelashes and we are going to just spread those apart just like that. Like I told you, I'm gonna start with 14 on the outside of my eye. So that's the longer of the natural eyelash. And we are going to grab these lashes and just pull it off holding it in between our tool. Then we're gonna rest them right on top of that tray so they're ready for application. Holding your eyelash with your tweezers. Now we are gonna go in with our clear adhesive and we are gonna paint it. As you can see, the eyelash is curved and you're gonna paint it on this top side of the lash band. Just like that. The clear does go on kind of an iridescent color, but it does dry completely clear. It just kind of helps you see where you place the adhesive. We're gonna take our lash and we're gonna get to applying. I like to hold the lash tool up and over the top of my tweezers and holding it to the very tip of those eyelash segments. It makes for an easier application. Then when you're going in on your eyelash, you're going to go as far over as you can without a lot of overhang. If you overhang too much, it is going to just look a little silly. I like to hold up my own eyelid and it's going to kind of lift that eyelid up. When you apply this lash, you're gonna apply it as close to your natural lashes as you can, but do not touch your waterline. If you touch your waterline, it's gonna be very uncomfortable. So we are going to lift up and apply it as close as you possibly can to that lash line. And we are just going to push it up and not seal it just yet. Now we're gonna move on to 12 millimeter lash segments doing exactly the same thing. While you're placing it next to this other eyelash, you wanna make sure you are getting it as close to the other eyelash, but I do not like to overlap. I get a longer wear out of them, but you can overlap because the lashes are super, super thin, but I like to put it as close to it without overlapping. Again, do not touch that waterline. Just like that and just tap it into place. If you need to adjust at all and it gets too close, if you're not sealing them and just tapping them on, you can pull off and readjust so it's not touching that waterline. If it touches your waterline, you're gonna have a very uncomfortable wear and no one wants that. Now we're gonna go in with the very last segment. I'm still gonna do that 12 millimeter on the inner corner of my eye. You can, if you want a little bit more natural of a look, you can do a 10 millimeter on the inner corner, but we're gonna go with 12. Just like that, you guys. Look at how amazing that looks and the difference between my eyes. This one, my blue stands out a tiny bit more and I could just go all natural without wearing eyeshadow or really any other makeup because my eyes are really standing out. Now we do exactly the same thing that we did to the right eye to our left eye using 14 millimeter natural on the outside following it with 12 all the way to the inner corner of my eye. And as always, if you are liking what you see, now is a perfect time to hit that red subscribe button. I greatly appreciate the support and I love seeing you guys subscribing. And if you guys have any questions, 
please do not hesitate to ask them in the comment box below. I love answering any questions you guys have. And like I said, I do sell these lashes, so I know all the tips and tricks. So if you need help with these lashes and you decide to purchase them, please do not hesitate to ask me anything. I'm all over social media, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. You can search me anywhere on there and I'd be happy to help you. And as always, I wanna put a link to my shopping cart so that way you can purchase whether the volume lash or you can also do the natural like I'm doing today. Off to the left side we go. And that is a perfect angle for you guys. See, I do have a lot of lash still left from when I removed my other eyelash segments. But you can see the difference of with lashes and really kind of almost like the look of with only mascara. Going with that 14 millimeter on the outside, painting the top side of that lash band. Again, holding the very tip of those eyelashes and making sure the eyelashes are curving up and you're going up underneath your eye. Do not touch that waterline. Make sure when you are applying these lashes, if you get any adhesive on your tool, wipe it off. If it's sticky at all, it's just gonna pull that lash segment you are trying to apply off of your lashes and you're gonna get super frustrated. Also, very similar to lash strips, make sure that adhesive, the clear adhesive that you're applying to your lash segment, let it dry just a little bit so it's super tacky. That way, when you put it up on your lash and if it's super wet, it's not gonna stick very good and it's just gonna slide around. Those are the biggest tips I can tell you when you're applying your own lashes, because if you do not do those two things, you're gonna get super frustrated. Another last final tip is while you're applying, follow the shape of your eye. This eye, point this way. Now when I'm gonna go in with this other last segment, I'm gonna move it just a tiny bit, so then they point this way. And then same with this middle one, follow the way the hairs point or else it's not going to sit correctly. And the very last one on the inner corner of my eye. Now that this lash has dried, you're going to take your tool that you applied and we are going to seal these lashes. Go in with your lash tool and squeeze them onto your own natural eyelashes and then you are good to go. Check out the difference of having eyelashes compared to my own natural lashes. You guys, I love these things. You saw how easy they were. I hope this helps you be able to apply your own lashes at home. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, and don't forget, I sell these eyelashes, so I don't want you to freak out when you're like, wait, this is a link to Angelina's eyelashes. That's exactly why. I do not co-sign on anything unless I really like them, and I wear these every single week. I think you'll like them too. Okay, bye-bye.